Hey everyone, I am Jamie. I'm one of Randy's daughters and we're gonna show you a few things today. One of the things we're gonna do right now is make some homemade chips. Um, I have a lot going on. I have a lot of kids. I have four kids and I am on the go a lot. So I everything that I do is quick and I like recipes that I can make fast and they're simple and that will drive my dad nuts a little bit because he is like a gourmet <laughs> little bit of a gourmet cook, okay? You he said wasn't. A, earlier you said a snob. Okay, he's a food snob a little bit. I love my dad. He's not a snob in any other way. <laughs> uh, he didn't. He wasn't always like this. Now he's got time to cook, a little more time. I mean, you're a busy guy, but my dad loves food. And so he wants to make everything the best way that's going to taste, and I do too, but I also have four children and a husband and busy life, and so we're going to do things like sometimes I'm going to cheat a little, so that'll drive him crazy and Get her done. we'll do it. So anyways, <laughs> we are going to make homemade chips, which yes, you can just buy a bag of chips, but this is something that actually my kids love and beg me for because they just taste so much better. So we're going to show you how to do that. We have a couple different kinds that we're going to do. We've got the red chili and the green chili tortillas that you can get from the Fresh Chili Company. And we're also going to do just some regular tortillas if you don't have those laying around. A lot of times I will do these and make chip strips if I'm making like a chicken tortilla soup or something. Um, but we're gonna do, we're gonna be having some guacamole and some queso with these too. So we're gonna make some actual chips and we'll show you how we do it, right? Cool, you yeah. Ready? But you need to warn them that uh, once they do this, they may never buy another bag of chips. It's true. It's really true. Uh, once your kids and your family taste what a, a fresh chip tastes like right out of the fryer, uh, you might be hooked, so let's show them how it's done. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is just stack them up and cut them up. So here we go, here we go. We're just gonna make one and done. And now they're ready to go in the oil. Yep. Now we just got this oil out, turned it on, and my dad informed me what is the temperature we need it temperature on. Temperature needs to be 350. Uh, Jamie says she doesn't have time for that, so. She throws a chip in to see if it looks like it's right or not. So we got the thermometer out and checked it for his sake, but I would just throw them in and see how they're doing. If they're burning, then I'll turn it down. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to just stick these in here, drop them in. This is, I do this even though I don't have a ton of time because you just kind of drop them in and go get something else done while they're cooking. Yeah. They're going to, oh yeah, this is a good temperature, I'd say. It's a good temp, and uh, once you put them in, you may want to turn up the heat just a little because the tortillas will cool down the oil and uh, so give it a little heat bump and then in a, you know, 30, 40 seconds just turn it back down to, to where it was. But uh, I did convince her to check the temperature a minute ago at 350 and hopefully it's staying close to that. But uh, you'll want to see, you can show them what, what it should look like uh, if it's cooking properly. And you guys know how to fry things so you'll know what to look for. But 350 is a good thing to shoot for. <laughs> if you want to take the time. So they're going to bubble up a little bit before we turn them. Yep. It's a little easier with the lighter color ones to tell yeah. when they're done. And at Christmas time, uh, using the uh, red and the green tortillas, not only is the flavor cool, but uh, hey, the color's cool. Uh, red and green for Christmas is uh, makes the dishes look even better than, than they do without that. So, but if you don't have our tortillas, and sometimes we're out of them. Uh, just a good quality corn tortilla. Doesn't have to, it can be white or yellow, either one uh, will turn out great. So. And I do that a lot with whatever, a lot of times I just have leftover corn tortillas yeah. in my fridge from enchiladas or whatever else I've made, and they just make really good chips, and my kids devour them. Turn them over, you think, yeah? Uh, and even if they're old, they come out great. So yeah. if you've got some old tortillas, this is a great way to use them. So uh, once they start turning brown like this, that's time to go, right? Oh yeah, those red ones actually cooked a little faster. Yeah, the red ones seem to cook faster. I think it part of the color, but I actually think they cook a little faster too. Kind of drain in a in a plate with some paper towels. Man, the red the red ones. I just ate one. It's got a kick. Well, and these will disappear quicker than you think. My yep. kids eat these as fast as I make them. So the most important part here is definitely the salt. 
salt them quick right when they come out. Yeah. And I like to add some of the the spice blend. For the, sp the spice blend is what I like to add. The red? Yes, the red spice. It makes them pretty and it just tastes good. My kids love it. Oh yeah. So we're gonna put some of that on there. And real quick, I'm gonna show you too, if I'm just making some tortilla strips real quick, you can buy these in the store and throw them on like chicken soup if you're making them. Wow, cool. But they're better this way and they cook like super fast. And then you just throw them on top of some. Uh... When they come out of there hot, Jamie, good job, man. Thanks, that seasoning on them is good. Oh, the seasoning is good. I, I, I haven't done a lot of the seasoning on there like that. I you just use throw salt. It on there, right? Yeah. Great idea, a way to use the, the hatch red chili seasoning. It's really good on the chip. Yep. Yeah, and look how pretty these are yeah. to go on. I've got some some soup I'm making tonight, some chicken tortilla soup, and these will go on top of it and make it really pretty. But I usually, if I make like a soup ahead of time, then when it's dinner time, I make these real quick and it just, my kids just love them and beg for them and they will take them as, they even ask me to make extra, they take them left over. They'll take that soup to school and they'll eat these left over with it. So they're really, really good. Wow, Jamie, those chips are amazing. Good. You better put some seasoning. One, la one, one more warning. When you eat these, you're going to throw rocks at anything you buy in the store. That's true. But it's not that hard to do. We better make one more batch. Yeah. Or good. two. Yeah. We're or gonna, three. We're going to need them. You're gonna need them, they are so good.